Alrighty, here we go. Hey there, everybody. It's a nasty one here again, and welcome back to the next episode of the Free Agent Franchise Rebuild here in Super Mega Baseball 4, year number one. Last episode for our Reapers franchise, we took on the Nemesis in a uh, rather riveting doubleheader, offensive slugfest slobber knocker, winning the, losing the first game 10-9, and then uh, bouncing back to win big 15-7, although we should have won 15-2, but we had a five-run meltdown there in the middle innings, unfortunately, thanks to our bullpen. Nice. Now, today's episode, we're going to actually start jumping into the simming aspect of this series. We're going to see how this team plays with the AI in control for these first two games against the Platypi and the Heaters, as we've already played them this year, before jumping into this matchup under our control against the B-Wolves as we try to get Garth given her a bounce-back start. Uh, then we'll sim this game against the Grapplers, and then we will be ready for these matchups against the Wild Pigs and the Hot Corners and Wide Loads as well. Have yet to play any of these three teams in the series. I believe Wide Loads are the only division rival after today's episode that we will not have played because we are playing the B Wolves today. So maybe we'll actually know that they're, they're different conferences. That's right. Never mind. I'm stupid. <laughs> Still, it's the only non divisional opponent we haven't played yet this year before we bounce back into some division rival matchups, Buzzards and Nemesis, for instance. I don't know. This is just, it's going to be hard to pick out games here. Maybe we'll play this one and just see how it is and go from there. But yeah, we're definitely playing the B Wolves one today. So yeah, we're going to send this first matchup here against the Platypi, who come in at 8-4. We come in at 6-6. Six six. Lineup, I believe, was already set prior to this. It was. So let's go ahead and jump into it and see how things go in the sim. I believe we were saving money. Just want to check and make sure I wasn't buying any of these. Ooh, RBI Hero is good for cuffing him, I know. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I, we were going to get this one for Frogo, definitely. I'm fine with buying this now after next game and just, you know, speeding things up and opening up more slots. Chance to get rid of Wild Thrower is going to be amazing. Uh, lose Bad Ball Hitter, that's bad. I want to keep that, but I do need the extra fielding for Seb. Maybe that's worth it. Going for it? I, I don't know. Maybe it'll be worth it. I don't know if it's worth it. Oh, I don't know if I want to risk that one or not. Uh... You know what? He's still going to be 23 regardless. Let's go for it. Risk it. Refielding the 32. Four on to 23. Down one power to 77. Does not get the bonus two fielding, which is fine. Bonus eight arm. Not going to get that either. Did not lose bad ball hitter. Nice. Got lucky there. Good job, Sebi. All right. That lineup's set already. Let's sim this first game here. Let's see how it goes. Wow, pitcher's duel here. End up holding on to win 5-4 to four just barely. Good job. And a deciding blow ended up being a home run by Cuffingham. 7-6. Now in the air. All righty. Choose one player who needs to be the cover athlete for Champs Weekly. Oh, good nuts. He needs the loyalty boost. <laughs> Pardon me, Jesus Christ. And uh, now the free... Ooh, free is going to start the sim against the Bob Pigs. That's a good matchup there. Whew. Looking around the league. First, Axel Torque, plus three fielding. Nice. Song plus two contact. He's S tier now. Shame we can't sign him. Brent Branch is picked up by the Surlings to replace Linus Digby in their bullpen. Rita Raconda gets plus five velocity on a random roll. Nice, nice. Love it. All right, let's keep going. I haven't even been looking, honestly. I, I looked at my phone. Sorry, guys. Just sim up to these real quick. So we're down in third place right now, playing against the Heaters, who come in at 6-8. and eight. We've already played against them this year, so no worries about us actually having to worry about facing them again. Uh, Pan Knibbles will take on Frogo Ball and Standos. First things first, player development. We're not taking away Workhorse. That's dumb. RBI zero is not worth it. I just, no, it's way too high of a shot. If it was only 15%, I'd go for it, but 25, that's a yikes for me, Captain. Frog Obama and Standos, we could use Compose. Let's go ahead and grab this. Three accuracy to 48, minus one junk to 77. Does not get the bonus three accuracy, which is fine. Going for Compose, not going to get it either here before his next start, which is fine. Frazzle, we're going to try and get rid of Wild Thrower. And, ooh, that's a good one for Heimlich, too. Extra accuracy, never hurt. Chance to get a slow and poke for Hawkins, not worth it. 
Frazzer, one speed to 43, one arm to 54. Bonus two speed. He's going to get that one. Nice. Chance to give rid of Wild Thrower, please. No. God damn it. No, well, loyalty does go up, so that's good. And this one will buy for Heimlich next one. All right. Lineup is set. Let's jump into it and see what happens. Come on, Reapers. 3 nothing, 4 nothing, 5 nothing. shutout victory. Nice job. So we're winning close games. Nice. Only scoring five runs, though, so offense is not really showing up much. Alrighty. So we got to send through this real quick. Two players fighting over shiny nickel in the dugout. Uh, Hawkins, he's played better. Someone has to give it their parking space. Uh, Channing. Easy. Alrighty. Uh, similar to the next one here. Eight games here. Jack's taking on the Beebles here. Jack's lose. That's good for us. Keeps us in second place. Nemesis taking on the Platypi here. Nemesis lose. That's good for us. Hot Corners taking on Moonstars. Hot Corners win. Freebooters looking to win again. They are already 2-0 this episode. Need to rally back big here against the Sawteeth, but they are going to get blown out, unfortunately. 15-6 to the final. Grapplers then beat the Sirloins, and the Heaters beat the Wild Duds 2-0. Okay, so we're a half game out of first. Taking on the B-Wolves now. 7-8, and eight, they come into the matchup with the Sean LeVon on the hill. No record of 584 ERA and a 195 whip. And on the mound for us will be Garth Givener, who's fully healed up from the line drive he took. Lead slider and workhorse active 0-1 with an 840 ERA and a 207 whip. First things first, roster moves. Sack to Song has been signed. He's going to be going to the Grapplers. Ooh, that's not good. <laughs> Crap, maybe we will play that game against the Grapplers then. Shit. Nerd Word in the free agent pool loses his curveball. That's fine. No other roster moves to report. Okay. Player development. Anything good? No. Uh, no. Ooh, speed arm and speed. Okay, decent. Takobi gets one. Nice. We're definitely getting this one for Heimlich. Yeah, let's grab his. Two accuracy to 49. Bonus five accuracy. Not going to get it, though. That would have been nice. Chance to get a cutter. Nope. Unlucky there. But we'll take it. Good job, horse. Getting a little bit better there. Uh, do we buy Wagyu's or Seb's? Let's buy Seb's. His is cheaper. One speed to 67. One arm to 24. Bonus three speed. Not going to get it. That's all right. We could also buy this one for Takobi. And you know what? Uh, let's not. I'm only going to leave two spots blank. It seems that we can fill two spots with these after one game. I don't want to risk three. I think we can only do two at a time. So we'll stick with those two for right now. All right, let's get up here. All right, line up. Let's set it real quick. Here's what we'll roll with. Leading off at third will be Nomar Stubbs. Batting second, a catcher on fire, Camilla Cuffingham. Batting third in left field is Axel Torque. Batting fourth at second base, Yacker Asherbaum. Batting fifth, locked in at first base, Seb Swolson. Batting sixth in center, Vinder Hawkins. Batting seventh is right fielder, Hato De La Dago. Batting eighth, shortstop, Yips Frazzler. He is tenth, and batting ninth is Givener. I'm going to move Hawkins to the leadoff slot here. He seems to be doing well. Stubbs, I'm going to move down on the order because he should not be hitting up that high. He can bat sixth. I'll have De La Dago seventh and then uh, Frazzler eighth. Actually, uh, let's put De La Dago ahead of him. Uh, he's faster. So, De La Dago 6, Stubbs 7, Frazzler 8, and then Given her 9th. Lineup for the Beebles, leading off at short, uh, tense Hanley Dexteras. Batting 2nd is 2nd baseman Gina Torrens. Batting 3rd, locked in at right field Kobe Kingman. Batting 4th, locked in at first base Ruby Green. Batting 5th, tense left fielder Buster Biggs. Batting 6th, 3rd baseman Bertha Banks. Batting 7th is center fielder Magic Moore. Batting 8th is catcher Johnson Swanson, and batting ninth is Deshaun LeVon, the pitcher. Let's jump into it under the lights here at Motor Yard, as the Reapers will be ready to defend their home turf and try to reap some souls here today. So far, we're 2-0 in the episode, 5-4 in the first game in the Sim, beating the Platypie and then winning 5-0 in the Sim against the Heaters. Let's see how we do when we're in charge of the team. There we go. Dexter is leading off. He's tense. Shortstop hitting 281 with four RBIs. Fastball hitter active facing Garth Givener. 
Given her 0-1, an 840 ERA and a 207 whip through three starts, 18 runs given up, 14 earned in 15 appearances, 25 hits, 6 walks, 2 homers, 6 strikeouts, and batting average against 347. Curveball at the knees on the first pitch, strike call, 0-1. Screwball down in the way, fouled off, it's 0-2. Lead slider up and in from Givener. Fouled back. It's 0-2. Look well down and in. Chopped in the hole to first. Swolson over on the backhand. Takes it himself. Flips it to pitcher. In time. One down. Next up, Gina Thorne. Second baseman with power versus right-hander. Max boosted. Hitting 273 with a homer and five RBIs. Peter away on the first pitch. Fouled off late. 0-1. Work well down and in. Low and inside. 1-1. Slider down in the way. Hit in the hole to second. That's a base hit to right field. She'll be on with one down. Good speed over at first there in Torrens. Here's Kingman, who's locked in. Right fielder hitting 292 with three homers, nine RBIs. Pick off to first. Nothing doing. Heater away on the pitch out. Nothing doing. Ball one. Slider at the knees, hit on the ground hard past the shortstop into left field, that's a base hit. Back-to-back -back hits here with one down for the B-Wolves. Uh, now have them threatening here. RBI chance for Ruby Green, first baseman locked in with Mind Gamer active. Hitting 405 with two homers and five RBIs. Work ball hangs in the first pitch, fouled off away, 0-1. Peter up away, no go on the pitch out, 1-1. Screwball middle in. Fouled off on the left side. That's going to get out of play. One and two. Peter away. Way outside. Two, two. Slider inside. Line to third. Stubbs dives. Picks it out of the air. Nice job. No bar. Two down. Still on. Still two on. Two down. Here's Buster Biggs. Left fielder tense. Hitting 196 with two homers and eight RBIs. Work ball down on the first pitch. Chase, grounder to second. Asherbaum over. Takes the out at first. That ends the inning. Nice pitching there, Garth. Bottom one, we're scoreless. Hawkins cuffing him in torque. Coming up against left-hander Deshaun Levon. Hawkins leading off. Center fielder hitting 418. Two homers, four RBIs on the season. Deshaun, no record, a 584 ERA and a 195 whip. Eight earned runs given up, three starts. 12 and a third innings pitched, 18 hits surrendered, six walks, one homer, eight strikeouts, batting average against the 321. Heater inside, off the plate, ball one. Slider away is popped behind second, running on the after it's Torrens, diving out of her reach. It's a base hit. Leadoff single for Hawkins. Here's Cuffingham on fire, hitting 419 with three homers, eight RBIs. Change the waist, strike called, 0 1. Long look at first from LeVon. Either away, line to center field, hard, but right at Moore, one down. Here's Axel Torque, left fielder hitting 377, five homers, 12 RBIs on the air. All right, goes on the first pitch. Heater outside misses. Throw down by Swanson. No chance. Hawkins steals second with ease. Vinders fourth steal of the year. He's four for five. So far the only runner besides Volter to steal a base this year. Heater down. Chopped through the middle. Diving his Torrance behind the bag to make the stop. On to first in time. Two down. Runner at third for Asherbaum. Second baseman hitting 280. Five homers. 12 RBIs on the year. Slider middle in, hit to the gap left center field. That is down for extra bases, and Asherbaum's going to catch the first run in of the game. Reapers take a 1 0 lead here in the first on the double. By the big yak as he comes alive. Next up, Swolson. First baseman locked in, but RBI 0 still here. And bad ball hitter still here as well, hitting 373 with nine homers and 20 RBIs. Slider from the way, hit well on the first pitch to right field, but that is going to go right at the right fielder, Kingman. That ends the inning. 
to the second. We're up 1-0 after the double by Yak, Banks, Moore, and Swanson coming up. Here's Bertha Banks, third baseman hitting 300 with a homer, six RBIs. About the knees on the first pitch, ripped down the right field line, foul, 0-1. Peter up and away. Chase popped her up. Find the plate. Copping and puts it away. One down. Here's Magic Moore hitting a buck 84 with a homer. Five RBIs. Slider middle in on the first pitch. Strike call. 0 1. Voicing it down on the way. Line to second. Right at Frazzler. Two down. Or short. Ha! Here's Swanson. Catcher hitting a buck 48. Three RBIs on the air. The ball down on the way in the first pitch. Strike call. 0 1. Eater up and away. High, one and one. Slider down and in, taken low, two one. Good ball down. Grounded hard to first, Swolson there. Takes it himself, one, two, three inning here for Givener. Bottom two, we're up one nil. De La Dago, Stubbs and Frazzler coming up. Please return to your vehicle, it's still on fire. Pause that real quick, guys. Got to check something here. Sorry about that, guys. I had to check something real quick. Reset the chat here. There we go. Anyway, we're back out of here. Bottom two, De La Daga leading off, hitting 441. Four RBIs on the air for the right fielder. Splitting time with cuffing him out there and right. Chase the heater up and away. 0-1 as Levon gets it by him. Heater at the top of the zone. Hit through the middle, and De La Daga's got a leadoff single here for him in the second. Now to bring up Stubbs, hitting only a buck 54 with two RBIs. Still a down year for Nomar. Distractor active at first base for De La Dago. Peter down and in is low. Good eye. Ball one. Peter up and in inside. 2 0 count to Stubbs. Change up checked high. Good hold. 3 0. Ain't moving the reticle. Peter hits the inside corner. 3 1. Peter middle plate. Limp to the gap. Left center field. Lift. Ripped. And that is extra bases for Nomar on the run. De La Dago coming to third. He'll be sent around. It's going to be an RBI double for Stubbs as the relay throw is late. Two nothing Reapers. A short stop, number 26, Yips Frazzler. Next up, Yips Frazzler. He's tense, hitting 314. Two homers, four RBIs on the air. All right, come on, Gips. RBI chance. He's tense. Change up taken low. Ball one. Change up inside. Misses. 2-0 count. Change up away. 3-0. Ain't moving the reticle now as LeVon's tense. 3-0 pitch to Frazzer. Right down the middle with the heater. 3-1. Checked high on the change up. Ball four. Got eye. Yips. It's a walk. First walk for LeVon. Two on. One down for pitcher Garth Givener. Hitting 250 with an RBI on the air. Slider the knees, ripped through the middle. That's a base hit into center field. Coming to third is Stubbs. He will hold. Base is loaded and nobody out. Keep it rolling, boys. Here's Hawkins. One for one with a single, a stolen base, and a run score. Trying to bust it open here in the second. 
Heater inside, strike called, 0-1, bases loaded, little hack active. 0-1 count, nobody out, nowhere to put him. Change up high, or two-seamer high misses, 1-1. One, one. Change up up, chopper to second, Torrance to second one, Dexter is the first, that is a double play, but the run does score. No RBI though for Hawkins, 3-0 Reapers. Runner third for cuffing him, 0-1 with the flying out to center for first time up, still on fire. Peter up, line to right center, or hit well, but hanging up for Kingman to end the inning. Two home no in the inning for the Reapers, RBI double, and then a double play ground out, driving in the second run. 3 nothing to the third, LaVon, Dexteris, and Torrens coming up. Here's Deshaun LaVon, pitcher hitting 333 with an RBI as he gets back to neutral mojo thanks to the double play ball. Peter away on the first pitch outside, ball one. Curve ball inside, misses, 2-0. Slider down and away is low. 3-0. Given her trying to find the strike zone here to the pitcher. Peter up. Strike called. 3-1. Screwball middle away. Whiffed on it. Full count. Work ball at the knees. Chopper to first. Swolson charges. Takes it himself to the bag. One down. Next up, Dexter is 0-1 today. Intense. Screwball down and in. Low. 1-0. Slider down in the dirt, bounces, 2-0. Screwball hangs. Turned on and belted there by Dexter is deep to right field. And he brought the sting on that swing as it's a home run. Hanley got a center cut screwball. He didn't miss it. First homer of the year for the offensive captain. It's 3-1. Beatles on the board. Torrens up next one for one of the singles. Givener's going to try to bounce back after that uh, hanging meatball. Slider middle in, that got stuck in the middle of the plate and that's hit deep to left center field and another bring in the sting swing. It's Gina Torrens going yard now. Back to back jacks for the B-Wolves. It's three to two, second of the year for Gina. Come on Garth, you gotta get your breaking pitches out of the middle of the zone. Here's Kingman, right fielder locked in, one for one with a single, is giving her now tense. Work ball down and in, chopped it, chased it to short. Fires are bare hands and fires just late. It's an infield single for Kingman. Next up is Green, 0 for 1 today and locked in. Four seamer down and away. Line to short. Frazer dives out of his reach as he dove under it. Hawkins cuts it off before the wall. Kingman digs for third. Throw in is late. First and third now, one down. Here's Biggs, 0 for 1 and tense. Slider inside on the first pitch off the plate. Ball one. Forcing it down and in. Line to first. Pass the diving Swolson. It's a base hit into right field. Runner holds it second. It's an RBI single. We're tied at three. There's Banks over one today. Giving her 10 still. Work ball away is outside. Ball one. You're inside off the plate. 2 0. Big hack active here for Banks. Curveball down and in. Low ball three, 3-0. Three Heater down and away. Strike called, 3-1. Fork ball down and in, in the dirt, ball four. First walk for Givener. Base is loaded, still one out, and here's Magic Moore. 0 for 1 today, trying to bust it open. Four ball away in the first pitch, strike called, 0-1. Heater middle in. Ha! Sky ball to left field, Torque is there. Makes the catch for the first second out of the inning. Runner tagging for her home. Throw in is late. It's a sack fly for Moore. The Wolves have come all the way back with four runs to take the lead, four to three. There's Johnson Swanson, the catcher, 0 for one today. Slider up and in, high, ball one. Or a seamer down in the way. Hit well to right center field. De La Dago on the run. Gets there to end the inning. Four runs home though as the Beagles take the lead. Givener has the wheels come off the bus. Bottom three, it's Torque, Asherbaum, and Swolson. Axel Torque leads off here for the Reapers as he takes the first pitch slider at the knees, 0-1. Checked away on the two-seamer, good eye, 1-1. Change him up, popped him up. Just got under it, out of the crouch of Swanson. 
on the third base foul line. Puts it away. One down. Next up, Asherbaum. One for one with an RBI double his first time up. Change but the knees. Sky ball to center field as he just missed teeing that one up with the barrel. Moore is there. Two down. There's Swolson 0 for 1 today. Flat his first time up with the runner in scoring position. Slider away is outside. Ball one. Peter down in the way. Line to the gap right center field. That's going to be extra bases. Nice rip from Swolson. Moore gives chase and gets it in, but it is a two-out double. Swolson puts himself in scoring position here for Nomar Stubbs, or Hato De La Dago, actually, who singled and scored a run his first time around. Hato trying to drive him home. Peter up in the way is high from Deshaun LeVon. Ball one. James with the letters ripped to the middle. Diving Torrens to take it away. To the fourth. It's 4-3. LeVon, Dexteris, and Torrens do up. Torrens was in the right place at the right time as she was holding the runner at second. There's the Deshaun LeVon is over one today. Peter up. Strike called with the letters on the first pitch. 0-1. Given her going to look to have try and have a bounce back inning here. Curveball grounded hard to second. Ashbaum dives off his glove into right field. It's a base hit. Sean on as he's going to start the inning with a single. Asherbaum tense. Here is Dexter as one for two with a solo homer today. Fastball hitter active. Solo home run last time up for Dexter on a center cut screwball. Screwball up and in. Strike call. No one. Right down in the way. Chopped in the hole to short. Frazzer over on the dive. Nice play. Throw to first. Just late. Another infield single. Two on. Nobody out. Here's Gina Torrens who homered last at bat. Got a uh, middle in slider that didn't quite get in enough. It stayed in the middle of the zone. She's locked in. Curveball middle of the way on the first pitch. Pulled to the gap right center field. Hawkins on the run. It's going to get down. And that is going to be extra bases for Torrens. Scoring easily is Levon. Scoring is to Steras. It's a two-run triple. 6-3. Beagles now lead by three. There's Kingman. Two for two with two singles today. His Givener is now rattled. Get up and away on the first pitch. Strike called. 0-1. Work ball down. Low. 1-1. The ball away. Outside, it's 2-1. Side up and in. High, 3-1. The ball hangs. Pulled way out in front of it. That would have been a home run. Full count. Peter down in the way. Outside, ball four. Second walk today for Givener. Runners at the corners for Green. One for two with a single. Still nobody out. Work ball away. Low in the dirt. Ball one. Peter down and then line to center. That's down for another base hit. Another run scores. Torrens in. It's 7-3. Here's Biggs. 1-2 with the RBI single today. Double down and in. Low and inside. Ball one. Peter away. Line to left field. Another base hit. Runner coming around third. Relay throw from Swolson is late. RBI does. Single by Biggs. It's 8-3. Number 60. <sighs> Banks up next, though, for one with a walk last time up. The ball at the knees. Check strike. 0 1. Peter up and in. High. 1 1. Work ball down and in. Pulled foul out of play. 1 and 2. Slide up and away. Outside. 2 2. No call. Screwball in the dirt. Block. Full count. Boys will be down and in, inside ball four. Third walk of the day for Givener. Bases loaded, still nobody out. Here's Magic Moore, 0 for 1 with a sack fly. Peter away on the first pitch, fouled off, 0 1. Slider down and in, chopper to short. Brazler there, flips the second one. Ashbaum to first, late fielder's choice. RBI ground out for Moore. It's 9 to 3, and here's Swanson, 0 for 2. Peter down and in. Inside for a strike. 0 1. Little hack active. Curveball down in the dirt. 1 1. Slide up and away. Runner goes for second. Throw down by Cuffingham is late. Don't know why they're stealing when they're up by six runs, but it is what it is. It's 9 3. 
More steals. Curveball down and away is outside. 3 1. Heater up and in. Check strike. Full count. Work ball middle in. Ball four. It's inside. Fourth walk today for Givener. Here's LeVon. They batted around. One for two today. Heater down. That's low. Ball one. Work ball down and in. Inside. 2 0. Lighter the knees. Bout off. 2 1. Fastball up. That's high. 3 1. Ball away. Whiffed on it. Full count. Lighter inside. Check ball four. He walked the pitcher. Five walks now today. Run scores. Ten to three. Time to go, Garth. Time to go. Not like it matters anyway. Gonna go ahead and go to sign blinder here out of the bullpen. Just try and stop the bleeding sign any way you can. Either away in the first one. Strike called. 0 one. Hopefully rally stopper actually works today. Change it down in the way. Foul off. It's 0 two. Not looking good. Well down, Chase dribbler to second, slow roller. Ashbaum flips the second, gets the lead. Runner at second. Another fielder's choice run scores. It's eleven to three. That run is also charged to given her. There's Torrens, who's a triple, uh, double shy of the cycle already. She's driven in, uh, what, three runs, and she's on fires. That heater's up and away. Ball one. Change up and in. That's a strike. One one. Well down and away. Line to right center, and that's going to be in the gap. Hawkins will knock it down. Single for Torrin. She won't hit for the cycle here, but a run does score. It's 12 to 3. She's at four RBIs now. Kingman up next, two for two. Two singles and a walk today. Peter up and away. High ball one. Peter down and in. Hard grounder in the right field. Another base hit. Right through the hole where the first baseman was holding the runner. It's 13 to 3. That run is still charged to given her. Any day now on the out call up, <laughs> right? Hey, Shaneva, welcome in, buddy. Nice to see you. Hopefully your day as well. Uh, this day for the Reapers are not going so hot. We won in the sim, though. Won both our games in that, but got absolutely cooked these last two innings. We gave up four last inning and nine so far this inning. And there's the ground out to second, and that'll finally end the inning. They sent, uh, let's see, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 runner hit batters to the plate. And they scored nine times. Yeah, this game's basically over. Stubbs up one for one with an RBI double today. A few bright spots for us. Two seam away, strike called, 0-1. That's in the dirt, 1-1. One one. Heater down the middle, and guess what? We missed it. It's a pop fly to right. If it was down the middle to them, it'd be gone. There's Frazer who walked his first time up. He's still tense. Whiffed on a heater away, 0-1. That's high, 1-1. One one. Checked away, strike, 1-2. and two. Chenny's late on it, 2-2. Two, two. Whatever, two outs, first punch out for Levon. whoop de fucking do Blinder, you got a bat. I don't feel like going to the bullpen. Just swing. Bat off, 0-1. They don't miss. Yep, slider away, 1-1. One and one. Bow back, 1-2. and two. Chopper to second. Thorns on the bare hand. It's a 1-2-3 inning for Levon. Gee, I wonder what that's like. It's been so long since I've had an inning like that. To the fifth, we're down 10. Bigs bang some more, do up. Well, if we don't score anything by the sixth, we're just going to sim the rest of this because this has been a thoroughly disappointing experience. And it's boring. Bigs two for three, two singles, two RBIs, and I'm not going to subject you guys to any more torture. Either ways a strike, go one. I remember first trying to free version of SMB and maybe 20 games with either the Peebles or Sirloins. Yeah, that's right, because you got to flip-flop between which ones you want, but they were the only two choices. Throw ball fouled off, 0-2. Change it down, that's fouled off, still 0-2. Heater up. High, 1-2. Roll down and in. Fouled off, still 1-2. 
Take it up and away. Foul off. Still one and two. Leader away. Chased it. Strike three. First punch up for Blinder. One down. There's Banks. So for one with two walks today. Curveball ball middle in. That's a strike. Go on. Peter away. Outside. One and one. Peter middle in. Foul back. Two one. Or one two. Whatever the count is. Change up away. Foul off. Out of play. One and two. Or see me down and in. Foul off. Still one and two. Well down in the way. Low, 2-2. Two, two. Four seamer up and away. Foul off. Still 2-2. Two two. Change it down and in. Dumped up the middle to short. Frazzler dives. Nice stop. Throw to first. Got her by a step. Nice play. Yips. Two down. They is empty for more. Open two with two RBIs today. One on a sack fly. One on a fielder's choice ground out. Change up and in on the first one. Strike call to one. Force him down and in. Line to center field right at Hawkins, and that's going to end the inning. Bottom five, we're down ten. Hawkins, Cuffingham, and Torque coming up. Here's Hawkins, one for two with a single today. Change the way, strike call to one. Levon locked in here. No hack act for Hawkins behind 0 and 2. Change away is pulled up behind short on the pop out. Dexteris puts it away, one down. Cuffing him up next, still on fire, 0 for 2, despite lining out and flying out. Strike called at the letters, 0 1. Grounded hard at the middle of the short. Dexteris, though, ranges over, makes the play, and cuffing him's 0 for 3. Two down, here's Twerk. He's also 0 for 2. Peter up and away, strike called, 0 1. Peter down, strike called, it's 0 2. Side at the knees, hit hard at the middle. Dice the diving Dexterra's base hit. First hit today for Torque. He's one for three. Here's Asherbaum, one for two with an RBI double. He's tense. All right, make a diving play in the field. Now he's tense. Pulled that change up foul. That should get out of play on the left side, and it will. 0 1. Change of away, pulled to third. Banks to first. That's going to end the inning. All right, only one more inning is suffering to go, guys. Swanson, Levon, and Dexter is coming up. There's Swanson up to the walk today. Two down. Grounded to first. Swolson there. Takes it himself. One down. Levon up next. One for two with a single to walk and an RBI today. Walked with the bases loaded to drive in a run last time up. Peter up. Blew it by him. One, one. Peter up and away. Foul off. One and two. Seamer inside. Strike three called. Can I help you, Levon? No, you just look at Yeah, you can stay right there. It's fine. Second punch out of the day for Blinder. Two down for Dexteras. Two for the two run a solo homer and an RBI single today. Change it down. Strike called. 0 1. Well down and away. Lined at the middle. That's a base hit. Almost cooked Blinder with him. The two out single will keep the inning alive here for the B-Wolves in the sixth. Here's Torrens. Four for four today. Two singles, a homer, a triple, four runs driven in, looking for a double to complete the cycle. Her ball hangs, line at the middle. That's a base hit. And she won't get it here either. Though she is still five for five today. Here's Kingman. Three for three, three singles, a walk and an RBI. Now they stop her active heater low and away. Ball one. Change it down in the way. Check strike, one and one. Double down and in. Ground and hard to second. Ash bomb over. Flips to second. Gets the out to end the inning. Bottom six. We're down ten. If we don't score here, we're sending the rest of the way. Swolson, De La Dago, and Stubbs do up. And even if we do score, we need to score a considerable amount. Otherwise, it's not worth playing the rest of this game. Here's Swolson, one for two with a double today, trying to get it started against Levon, who's still locked in. Two-seamer up and in, inside, ball one. Whiffed up and in on the heater, 1-1. One, one. Slider bounces in the dirt, 2-1. Change it down and in, turned on by Swolson, hit deep to left center field, giving on the run more, running after it at the wall, plays it off the fence. It's going to be a double for Swolson, his second double of the game. He's two for three. 
Nice job, Seb. At least someone's still trying. Here's De La Daga, one for two with a single today. Peter up an in-strike call, 0-1. Peter down, fouled off late, 0-2. Got to get around on it faster, Hotto. Peter O down in the way, grounded in the hole to second. Torrens will take the out at first, one down. Moonshotta! <laughs> Stubbs up next, one for two with an RBI double. That it was, that was good swing from Seb. Nomar looking for his second RBI of the day. Peter in there at the knees, 0-1. Peter away, pulled to left field right at Buster Biggs. That's deep enough to get the run home. Tagging is Swolson on the sack fly. He will score. It is 13-4. So at least LeVon won't get a quality start. Brazzer up over one with a walk today. Back to neutral Melger after diving play in the field last inning. Slider up and away outside. Ball one. Slider ripped up the middle. Oh, that's a base hit. Nice job, uh, Yips. <laughs> Blinder do it next. We're going to pinch hit for him. Coming off the bench, we're going to go ahead and give the at-bat to... We're going to give it to Pooch Ponderosa here, hitting uh, hitless on the air. Peter down in the way, strike called, 0-1. Change of brick foul out in front of it, 0-2. Change of inside, rip foul, still 0-2. Fouled off, up and in, 0-2. Peter Wade dumped over short. It's down for a base hit. Pooch Ponderosa has his first career hit. Let's get that ball for you. Finally, he was the last man on the offensive side of things to not have a hit. Hawkins up next, one for three with a single, trying to keep it rolling. Peter up and away, late swing, 0-1. Little hack activates for Hawkins. Peter up, hitting the hold first, but backhanded by Green. Takes it herself to end the inning. We only scored one. It's not enough for us to like contemplate still playing. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and sub a batter. We're going to go ahead and bring in Horace Heimlich as this game's basically over. Hawkins is going to come out. And uh, Ponderosa is also going to come out. We are going to bring in. Torque can play what? Just left. Yeah, Ponderosa is coming out. We're bringing in Walter Walter to play center. And then we're just going to sim to the end of the game because we are down nine runs. There's just nothing we can do here. We're just, if they manage to come back and win this in the sim, I will never sim the rest of the game when we're down by that many runs. Mark it right here. Let's see what happens. All right. <laughs> they they thought about it. They thought about it. <laughs> Made it thirteen to seven. Okay, well that's a little bit more respectable, but it was too little, too late, unfortunately. Just a bad, bad showing all around. Garth Givener got lit up again. Offense started hot, went really cold, and then did nothing. They did not quit. I'll give them credit for that. I did, and that's the difference. <laughs> uh, let's see. What do we got? A roster move to report. Two roster moves to report. Okay. To Kobe, plus three junk. Nice. Still getting better. Pansky to the Buzzards. Uh, rookie will replace Hannah Hogswins. That was the new ace for the Overdogs pitching rotation. Ketchum, minus three. Or was it Punchy Patterson? I forget. Whichever one it was. Ketchum loses three fielding. Not ideal. Uh, let's see. What else we got? Lou DeBazese released by the Crocs for Gertie Goatman. Okay. That's a good move there. All right, nothing bad, nothing bad. They had no choice. <laughs> True. All right, uh, let's see. Ooh, Mind Gamer for Stubbs. That's nice. Jacobi's we're definitely getting. Magic Hands for Ponderosa. Okay, that's a good one. All right, well, uh, let's do uh, Jacobi's and Stubbs is here. One accuracy to 50, one velo to 50, three accuracy bonus. Nope, not going to get it. Fork ball, fork ball, fork ball. Damn it. Where the shot. He probably really needs another fastball, if we're being honest. All right, Stubbs, what do you got here? Three fielding to 54, bonus five. Not quite. Mind Gamer. Oh, he's going to get Mind Gamer. Nice job, Nomar. Okay. He's up to a B minus. Not bad. All right, and that's all we got for that. Okay. Set up to the next one here. 
Crocs win, not great. Slot Thief beat the Grass Eaters, love to see that as always. Free bidders taking on the buzzers. Come on, free bidders. Come on, free bidders. Come on, free bidders. Come on, free bidders. You bastards! You blew it! You blew it again! What are you, the fucking Astros out here? God damn it, stop blowing the lead! Try to do me a solid here and you still fuck it up. <laughs> oh, damn it. Alright, last game of the sim. Nemesis win. Damn it. Okay. Well, we're in third, but we're only a game and a half out, so we're still sitting around. Uh, we're going to send this game against the Grapplers here, and we're going to see how that one works out. Uh, let's look at the schedule here. Who are we up next against? Uh, we've already played the Grapplers. We could play the Wild Pigs. We do need to play the Wide Loads, because we haven't seen them yet. I really don't want to pitch with Givener again. Fuck him. We're going to skip his start. So I think we'll either play this game with the Pigs or this game against the Hot Corners. I don't know which one yet. Let me see. Who's doing better this year? The Pigs are doing better, so we'll play that game and we'll skip the Hot Corners game since they have a losing record. All right, so we'll send this last one here against the Grapplers. Let's just, uh, yep, they've got the alternates on already. Perfect. Because the Kobe always has to pitch when we're wearing the alternates. And because we're wearing our alternates, that means the Grapplers will also wear their alternates. They're going to debut Sack the Song in this game, who they just signed. Let's see how it goes. Come on, boys. If we win this game, this is going to be funny. Ah, we got blown out. 9-2. to two. Not surprising. So we're sitting at 500 at the end of the episode. We go 2-2. Two and two. Simming, we go 2-1, and one, and we lose the one game we played. Who didn't order enough talc? Uh, catch him on this one. She did just regress a little bit. Sammy Shigatani released by the Saw Teeth for Scoop's Tomahawking. <clears throat> Braun Thunderchump is picked up by the Heaters. He'll replace Boris Bigsworth in their bullpen. Track Statsman will go to the hot corners. He'll replace Nori Miyoshi. Okay, not bad. Sim up to the next one here. Jax win again. God damn it. Beat the Grass Eaters, of course. I'm happy the Grass Eaters lost, but I'm mad that our division rivals won. Buzzards, you need to lose. And they win, of course. 6 0. Fuck. And Hot Corners lose to the Moose. Okay, so next episode, we are going to be taking on the Wild Pigs. Burl Channing will be on the hill for that one. So, haven't seen Burl in a while. We'll see if we can get a win with him. 0-2 oh, with a 519 ERA and a 156 whip. And on the mound for the Pigs will be their ace, Wes Yogurt. 1-0 with a 363 ERA and a 112 whip. Haven't seen Wes in a hot minute. I wonder how he's doing. All right, let's look at potential chances. Ooh, get rid of Surrounded. You mean she could be usable? Hmm, interesting. Okay. Chance to get walk run. That's a big yikes from me, Captain. Seb Swolson. Yeah, I could take that. Fragos is good. Yep. Pooches is good, too. Losing Sprinter on Dude or El Dorino. He doesn't need the extra power. That's kind of dumb. Okay, so first one is Fragos. One junk to 78. One accuracy to 49. Bonus three junk. He's going to get it. Nice. Up to 52. Awesome. They're up to 55. Was that extra junk? It was extra junk. He's up to 81 now. He is a B plus. Nice job, Frogo. Who's is next? Next is... They're all three games. Who's the cheapest? Uh, Sebi. We'll do him. One contact, 51 fielding to 33. Well, three extra contact. Not going to get it. No, let's just buy all of them. Why not? Pooch, go ahead. Get your speed. Three speed to 72. Bonus five. No. Going for magic hands, though. Making him a decent fielder. Nope. Oh, well, we're the shot. And last one, this one for Lynetta Betta. Try to give it a surrounded. Four junk to 80. One fielding to 69. Down to below to 74. Bonus four junk. Not going to get it. Chance to give it a surrounded. Nope. Still going to be stuck with that fucking trait. Oh, well, we're the shot. All right, and that's it. All right, next episode, here's the lineup we'll use against the pigs. Uh, we'll go ahead and set our away uniforms here. Leading off will be D.H. Burl Chinning. He'll also be pitching. Batting second is Te locked in catcher Camilla Cuffingham. Batting third, first baseman Teresa Ketchum. Batting fourth, second baseman Yacker Asherbaum. Batting fifth, left fielder Axel Tork. Batting sixth, center fielder Vinder Hawkins. Batting seventh, third baseman Nomar Stubbs. Batting eighth, right fielder Walter Volter. And batting ninth will be the shortstop Yips Frasler. Still tense. Not bad. Hopefully we can turn it around on that one. Let me make sure they're in, not in their alternates. They are in their regular homes. Perfect. All right, that's going to do it for this episode, guys, today. Uh, started off here with a couple simulations. 
winning the first game in the Sim 5-4 against the Platypi, and then the second game 5-0 against the Heaters. We then played this game against the Beebles, and we're getting blown out through six innings, being down 13-4. We sinned the last three innings, got three runs, but we still lost 13-7. And then in the Sim, we then lost this game against the Grapplers, who we had already played this year and didn't feel like playing again, 9-2. So we go 2-2 two two in the episode. We're sitting at 508-8 in third place in our division. Two and a half games out of first. Next episode, we'll be taking on the Wild Pigs, who are fighting for their division lead in their uh, division. They are actually tied with the Freebooters, but losing on run differential. So this could be a good matchup for them if they want to try and beat us. Battle of the Aces, Chinning and Yogurt. We'll see who will come out on top. All righty, Chinning. Well, have a good night, buddy. Thank you for sticking around and watching us get shelled. Appreciate the uh, conversation, as always. But that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Uh, if you haven't already, hit the follow and or subscribe buttons down below here on Twitch to be notified next time I go live. And if you haven't already over on YouTube, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. Link to Twitch will be down in the description below if you, uh, if you want to come over and watch the games live before they're posted. And also follow me over on this platform as well if you so choose. Uh, shout out to Shinable for sticking around and watching us get shelled tonight. Love chatting with you as always, friend. Hopefully you had a good evening. I'll catch you on the next one, and everybody. Until then, this is the Nasty One signing off. Have a wonderful day, evening, or afternoon, wherever you guys may be.